Hi Ben Carpenter here. I'm going to talk to you about a new supplement which is being marketed as a natural anabolic, i.e. muscle building, as well as something which could increase strength levels and something which could potentially enhance fat loss. So the supplement isn't, uh, the research on the supplement isn't brand new to the market, i.e. the last few days or weeks. However, up until recently only one company was selling it. So now a second company is selling it. Um, this seems like a more appropriate time to make this video. So, the ingredient in question is called phosphatidic acid, or PA for short. Now, phosphatidic acid is a natural ingredient derived from soy, which is a regulator of the mTOR pathway. mTOR stands for mammalian target of rapamycin. If someone's heard of the mTOR pathway, it will inevitably be due to the amino acid leucine. So, the company who owns um, phosphatidic acid is Chemi Nutra and the trademark name is Mediator. So you may see a Mediator trademark on the products which contain it. So most natural anabolics um, tend to have um, relatively limited data. So some products that are being sold might have an acute factor such as a short-term testosterone increase or a biomarker or something like that and then there's a link made to um, its muscle building potential. So Phosphatidic acid has not one but two chronic studies, i.e. in humans over the course of eight weeks, where they look at lean body mass and strength gains. So it has more data available than most ingredients. So two trials, both eight weeks long. So the first trial, um, trainees were training three times per week with two hypertrophy sessions and one strength session. So the phosphatidic acid group had a 2.4 kilo lean body mass gain versus 1.2 kilo lean body mass gain in the placebo group. So double the lean body mass gain over a, uh, an eight week period. In terms of strength, they evaluated it using the leg press exercise. The phosphatidic acid group gained 52 kilos on the leg press versus 32.5 kilos in the placebo group. Then in terms of fat loss, there was 1.3 kilos of fat loss in the phosphatidic acid group versus 0.5 kilos of fat loss in the placebo group. So we are looking at increased lean body mass, um, increased fat loss and increased strength. Now the important thing to note is that um, this is a placebo controlled trial. If you've seen my video on placebos, you will understand how important a placebo control group is in uh, trials of this nature because it helps identify the real effect from the supplement and not simply the training program. So second trial, eight weeks, trainees were training four times per week. Now these are done with percentages, not via kilogram measurements. So there was a 2.6% lean body mass gain in the phosphatidic acid group versus a 0.1% gain in the placebo group. They looked at squat and bench press in terms of exercises. So the bench press went up 5.1% in the phosphatidic acid group versus 3.3% in the placebo group. Then the squat exercise went up 12.7% uh, in the phosphatidic acid group versus 9.3% in the placebo group. So we have two human trials, both show um, increase in lean body mass and increases in strength. Now these are more modest gains than the uh, recent research on um, HMB free acid. However, that was utilizing a uh, an intentional overtraining period, i.e. a very, very rigorous uh, training protocol. Also, the results in that trial um, are very, very extreme. That's not a, a lean body mass gain that you would see regularly. So these seem to be more, um, let's say more aimed at people. This is looking at um, a training program which is more likely to be replicated by real world trainees. So there, there is one potentially important note. Now, both of these were either funded or there was a grant given by the owners, which are Chemi Nutra. This isn't necessarily to say that both trials hold no value. 
Um, a lot of people think if a patent holder pays for the study that the results are null and void, and that isn't the case. If the patent holder wasn't the person paying for the trial, who would bother paying for the trial? So it's something to factor in, but isn't necessarily something to write the um, study off altogether. So I have personally purchased two bottles um, to test out. So despite the fact that it's not the company I work for that is uh, selling it, if it is a worthwhile ingredient, I think it's a good service to you for me to be able to recommend it, irrespective of who sells it. So I shall be running it, I shall be letting you know how I get on with it. Um, if it's something that I think works well, I will recommend it to people. Um, and that's it. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Ben Carpenter Personal Training, or on my Twitter page, which is BDC Carpenter. And thank you for watching. Bye.